please take the fifth place award, the check for $40,000, and present it to Rooley Winkler. Gentlemen. Well, there you have it. The, the, Next to the vampire is still alive. The 49-year-old was not fifth. Well, that's the question, Neil. Did Roley drop that much, or did Dexter improve that much? You said Dexter's a better version than he was a year ago. I feel that uh, Dexter's made improvements uh, since last year as far as that conditioning, and unfortunately, obviously, Roley has gone backward in that area. Um, sure, not from a lack of effort and hard work, but unfortunately, you miss your peak, and it can hurt you come contest day, and obviously, this is proven here. Coming from Omax will present the fourth place award. Please take the fourth place award, the check for $45,000, to our fourth place finisher, the play, Dexter Jackson. Ageless. Absolutely incredible what Dexter continues to do. And with that fourth place finish, I got to tell you, this guy's probably going to be back next year. It's hard to walk away on top. I left on my final two Olympias was in 2000, 2001 in fourth place, and I was done. I think Dexter has just got validation that he's still got more gas in the tank, and he will be 50 if he comes back next year. You can't be disappointed with a fourth place. That's remarkable. Knowing how many shows he did this year, knowing that he wasn't at his normal peak, the blade condition, you know he's got gas in the tank to come back for first, second, or third another time. Yeah, and I definitely think it's helped him not to do more. From Performix, presenting the third place award. Well, he didn't have to win this to still have gas in the tank. He could win other pro shows. Randy will take the third place award, the check for $100,000, the Olympia bronze medal to our third place finisher. Hottie Chupin! Wow. There it is. Hottie Chupin in his very first Mr. Olympia winds up getting third place the bronze medal, which is definitely a victory for him. But again, we were talking, Neil, about William improving a little bit more than the other day. So is this a valid, justifiable position for Hottie Chupin? Yes, I think it's, it's apples and oranges, different physiques. Different physiques. I feel that Hattie's brought a level of condition and fullness and wide latch, wide shoulders. Obviously, that's an area that William genetically is obviously just narrow in those clavicles, the shoulder area. But um, strong finish, strong, strong place. And Gentlemen, in Olympia tradition, if I can have our two absolutely. finalists in the center, please. It was close between those two. That's where the contest really was. And if I can have both presenters on stage, please. All right, Jake. Jake Wood presenting the second place award. Dan Solomon, Chief Olympia Officer, along with Jim Mannion, IFBB Pro League President, will present the first place award. Jake Wood from Wings, Wings of Strength. Dan Solomon doing a great job this year in the first year as his Chief Olympia Officer. William Bonick with gas in the tank. He could upset the apple cart The here. next name you hear will be our 2019 Mr. Olympia. We'll now announce the winner of the Olympia. Please take the check for $400,000, the Olympia gold medal, and the Sandow. To our winner, and new Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry! Well, there you have it, fans. Brandon Curry is your 2019 Mr. Olympia, the 15th in our 55-year history. Brandon Curry doing exactly what he said he was going to do when he won the Arnold Classic.
which was come to Las Vegas and win the Mr. Olympia. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And he did just that. And William Bonick surprised a lot of people here tonight, Neil. Yeah, I mean, every single one of those athletes have to walk away being happy with what they've what they've achieved as far as their places. Brandon's obviously the new 2019 Mr. Olympia. William coming in second, the first time he's come second, he's come third, he's come fourth. So he's moving forward in the right direction. Dexter Jackson's moved up a place, he's got one year older. I think we're living in an age right now where this is not going to be a dominant Olympia run here because all of these guys can take turns in the next three to four years winning this championship. That really would be fun to have that kind of openness every year to battle it out for the top spots. And just remember, William 